Hi guys, this is Nico Cupero, Nihon Duarte. So today I'll be doing a review on a nice uh, Shin Shinto blade. And judging by the size of the Nakago, it is indeed a very, very big blade. Um, to be exact, it's a 84.54 centimeters Nagasa, uh, which is about uh, just over 33 inches. So it's a massive, massive, massive blade. And the Koshirai is also really, really big. Um, to do a size comparison, here's a regular size Koshirai. And you can see Fuchi Kashira is a much, 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 much larger. A lot, a lot thicker. The uh, Tsuka is way thicker. Um, everything's a lot bigger on this. Uh, set um, and it's to house this uh, very very big blade. So the smith in question is uh, Yokoyama Sukihisa. Um, so it's signed here to be exact. Yokoyama uh, Sukihisa Kore Osagu. So uh, Sukihisa had made this, and it's dated. Um, uh, February 2nd, uh, year of Ansei, which is, uh, 1855 AD. Um, so February, uh, 1855 AD is when it was made. And over here is what's very, very common on the, uh, Yokoyama, um, line of Smiths is they mention their generation. They're very proud to be, uh, you know, the, uh, uh Bizen, uh, uh, Osafune line. Um, and he is the 59th grandson. So he wrote 59th, 59, uh, 59th grandson of this tradition, which is uh, quite amazing. Um, and finally, the last column here is um, uh, uh, he uh, writes Bisho Osefoniju. So, you know, it's quite interesting because you'll see on the Nakago, there's a, there's a little bit of writing everywhere um so you'll see over here is his may so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to change the angle of this so that the lighting is a little bit better so there we have it here is the may here is the date 1855 and say and Here is the um, stating that he's uh, from the uh, Osufune line. And that is his generation, 59th generation Osufune. So, um, yeah, the eyes are probably drawn very quickly to the uh, Koshirai. I'll do a, a more of an in-depth re review of the individual individual pieces, but it's really beautiful um, workmanship. And uh, it's a really, it's the original Koshirai, so it's really long. Um, the Urushi is in pretty good condition. There's some areas over here along the seam where the two halves meet. Um, so there's a little bit of working that plays along that along this, this uh, seam because of, uh, you know, the, the sheer length of the blade. Uh, so if that's housed in there, you know, they have a really, really heavy duty blade kind of knocking around there, but that could easily be uh, touched up or repaired. But for the most part, the fittings are in um, phenomenal condition. And who doesn't like dragons? Dragons, dragons, dragons. Um, but we'll we'll get that to that later. Uh, at the moment, here's the here's some a little quick look at the blade, and exactly what you know uh, the Yokoyama school is famous for. That's kind of choji midare, really wild uh, nioi based um, hamon, a very very tight nioi structure that gives it that nioi base, um, and. They always have, uh, not all the time, but often uh, their signature is uh, is the suguha. And the suguha goes up to here and then it starts to go wild. 
Um, so it's a straight ham one and then and then you'll see it kind of uh, jump. But there you go, look at that. Wild, 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 wild ham one. And again, this is a massive, massive, massive blade. It's really heavy uh, to pick up. <laughs> I have difficulty um, holding it in hand. There you go. Nice, strong, strong, strong hamon. Very tight um, steel, it's tightly forged. And one thing that I noticed on the blade that is really interesting um, is over here, you can see very carefully, if you look carefully, there's two kanji on both sides. So that would be the polisher's signature that was uh, done. So that's very uncommon. Uh, we don't really see that. So this might be the original uh, May, or the original uh, signature. It is an older, a slightly older polish. Um, so it might be the original signature of the of the original polisher. But um, let's just get a quick look at this one more time. So, there's a nice steel. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit hard, a little bit tricky to pick up the uh, hamon. But there we have it. Nice and healthy along with the Iksaki. Um, okay, so we'll go off onto the fittings now. So here's the fittings. Looks like Shibuichi. A dark Shibuichi. Um, and you can see the sheer size of this Fuchi. It's uh, almost at least double the size of a of a, the average, I would say. So you see the nice waves. This really animated dragon gold coming in and out, breaking through in and out, in and out of the waves. It's really, really, really spectacular. It really makes a set. So this is as well signed. And you can see also massive, massive Miyuki. No, this is my finger size. It's literally the length of my entire finger and I have a pretty big hands. Um, that's the dragon on each side. So animated they are. And the detail really is something. Look at belly and scales. Um, that's just belly will be there, but I mean like the underbelly of the scales. And, and of course, the base is, doesn't disappoint. Sometimes you see the uh, Fuchi and you're like, oh, uh, it's beautiful. And then you get to the Kashida and you're like, ooh, that's uh, that's lacking. But this one is just as animated, just as massive, really, really beautiful. And we have the, so there you have that. Uh, and we have the Tsuba with a really, really, really unique looking uh, uh, silver. Filler here. 
so it could be mounted properly and not fall out, but it has the same kind of dragons and so really large silver Mimi. You can see the dragon is nice and animated as well. On the other side, same thing. Really beautiful. You see the nanakos, very well done. Nanakos like the fish eggs. So this it's a kind of finish that each hole is punched by hand using a, a tool and they would hammer every single little hole in place as they would create their lines. Very, very um, difficult to do. At least at least for myself, I wouldn't be able to do anything like that. So there you have it. There's the Koshirai of this nice set. And here is the Saya. And it also, so there's a the little bit of damage there. Overall, really good condition. Um, it's quite still very sturdy, but it comes in a sheer Saya. So you don't have to worry about uh, the blade being housed or, or, or stored in that. It's uh, stored inside the... Uh, Sure side. Thanks guys.